you don't want to set up a situation where, okay, you're raising your daughter, but she's so, like her only concept of the male existence is only you. So she is oblivious of like the trash dudes that's out there. So when she encounters them, she doesn't know how to process well, no, the stuff. I'm, gonna, I'm 100% going to like insult dudes. I'm gonna right. like be like, baby, this is a brokey. You don't want these types of men. Cause you see how you live in a nice house, you and mommy have a nice house and you mm -hmm. get to go on vacations and you get to hang out and play with mommy. If you're with a brokey, you don't get to do that. Mommy, imagine mommy not ever being home. Imagine mommy being gone 12 hours a day because you're with a brokey. So. Right. But then again, when, but then, when does but then, that conversation happen? But then the same where thing, you introduce the brokey. I don't know if I introduce the brokey, but I think it's just in the demeanor. Right, okay. like of like. That's of like, where I think it's a little different. Because I think if your daughter sees me, it's a different of just me being rich. I think the the trait I would value that she values more is hardworking. Right. If she sees me working super hard and always exhausted, mm -hmm. that's a great trait because now she's gonna look for a man that's always exhausted, driven, that works hard. ambitious. Exactly. But you also have so to have just results. Rich. It's not just rich. It's also like working hard, driven. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Because there's certain intangibles that those who are successful have yeah. um, that you can identify. However, what a lot of people end up falling into, and primarily women fall themselves, they find themselves here is when they try to you know date off of potential. Yeah. So then, but the issue is they don't recognize what the actual true drive ambition looks like right. to a certain degree because you can have somebody who is ambitiously lazy. Right. So then you can have small spurts of where you know you're in a situation where you're on go mode, but that's only two days. Out of the week and the other five you're and, kind of lounging and around and people don't realize the effect that parents have on their children right whether it is or it is intentionally so a great example like what, one thing i would always say is like if a girl has a bad relationship with her father treat her like shit she's gonna like you she'll be attracted to you if you treat her like shit yep. it's super weird but if a girl has a good relationship with her father be nice to her and that's how she'll like you it's a very interesting dynamic people isn't always it say, people always say right. oh girls like assholes if you're mean to girls they're gonna like you if you're mean to girls they're gonna like you that's not the case it just depends on how the child was raised so like yeah it works if a girl has daddy issues a dad that was missing yep. if a guy's like an asshole to her yep. she's gonna like look for that validation in that man because her father left so she's gonna be like well i need to make sure this one doesn't leave even right. though he's an asshole to me right, right? and again there are exceptions to the rule because i know there's gonna yeah, be oh, this exception to one. i know somebody uh, yeah, everybody's the, always oh i know about his right for, right for but for that, the, that, it, the exception doesn't dispel the rule and that's why on average there's a ongoing understanding of hey if i treat her like shit, she'll like me more hence why there's always this large stigma of girls who go after the bad boy because he's the father's, confident the father's absent, there's a, even if the the father's right. there if the father's right. still like absent emotionally from the daughter's life yeah that daughter's not going to get that validation from the father they're going to look look for other men so if you're a, a dad that's nice to your daughter that's good to your daughter and then she's going to like dudes that are like nice to her as well right so i think the, the reflection shows so for my job as a father is to be not only a financial provider for her so mm -hmm. she can understand the dynamic but also to be nice and care for her emotions um, yeah. You want to also, instill the character so she has an understanding so now, of who she should look for. When she forward. looks for men in the future, it's right. like, oh, I want a guy that's nice, that treats me right, right. that provides for me, that takes care of all this stuff. And, and that's like also the, to have the understanding of what comes with that. Because I think yeah. that if, they, if she understands the role of you know your position as a father but also a provider of how you treat you know her mom your wife right. how you treat those who are around you to where you're not looking down on individuals because i think that also plays a role as well like if you treat the janitor the same way you treat a ceo she sees that particular kind of character to a certain degree there'll be an understanding of hey you want to be with somebody who's i love that you said like that. that so you treat the janitor the same as you treat the ceo right in a weird way i treat the janitor better Mm. Here's why. This is the way I see it. No, it sounds weird, but like I, I always treat people that are below me better than the people that are above me. I'm very courteous to everyone. I'm very nice to everyone. But the way I see it is below like, from a financial perspective. Financial perspective, okay. career perspective. Like what society would deem as like you know how you said the okay, janitor, yeah, blue collar, could, white collar yeah, versus like okay, you treat got the janitor you. same as the CEO. Got you. I always think you treat people the janitor better. Because the universe tries to find equilibrium. I tweeted something the other day, and it was pretty much whenever I'm anxious, whenever I'm a little bit lost, whenever I'm feeling like fearful, because mm -hmm. these are normal human emotions, my go-to is always give money away. Right. The reason being, this is kind of like a spiritual belief of mine, but like the universe always tries to find equilibrium. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you're just giving too much, and it's like trying to knock you down. And because it can't knock you down, it gives you these feelings of fear, anxiety, so you can fuck something up. So right. for me, I'm just like, let me just give some money away. Let me just tip this waiter 100 bucks. Let me just give this person a, a crazy tip. Let me give this parking attendant $50. Mm -hmm. Because then, like, 
there's bal the universe finds balance. It's kind of like, oh, you're too high, and you, you kind of spread it a little bit, and then you get balance that way. So I always tend to tra treat the janitor nicer than the CEO because CEO is blessed. Already, right. God has blessed this person already. Right. The fuck that I need to bless him for. But a janitor, it's like, you don't have the same blessings, and maybe some of it is your doing, but let me at least give you this so I can feel better about myself. It's almost like a self, like I'm giving selfishly. Right. 